Hey drama enthusiasts, get ready to buckle up because we've got the hottest updates in the Chinese entertainment universe. Wang Huddy, the heartthrob sensation from Meteor Garden and Love Between Fairy and Devil, is gearing up for an electrifying collaboration with Ren Min in the upcoming crime buster, Confession in the Dark, are you ready for the fireworks, folks? Wang Huddy has been on an unstoppable rise since 2018, capturing hearts in Meteor Garden and skyrocketing to top-tier male god status overnight with love between fairy and devil. Last year, he dropped not one, not two, but three dramas, Never Give Up, Youth in the Flames of War, and Only for Love. Say what you want about mixed reviews. Wang Huddy is the risk-taking drama king, and his momentum is off the charts. Fresh off the set of Guardians of the Dafeng with Tian Shiwei, Wang Huddy is gearing up for a new challenge. Brace yourselves because in March, he's diving into uncharted territory, a suspense crime drama, the anticipation is real. But hold up, it gets juicier, Wang Huddy is joining forces with the sensational Ren Min in Confession in the Dark, directed by the talented Wang Jichao. The man behind hits like Flight to You and You Are My Glory, this drama is already sending shockwaves through the industry. Now let's talk Ren Min. She burst onto the scene in 2018 with Cry Me a Sad River, making waves with her debut. Fast forward to 2020, she's dubbed Little Zhou Shuin after killing it in Serenade of Peaceful Joy. But wait, there's drama, the longest promise didn't quite live up to expectations and Ren Min faced some heat for alleged diva behavior. Despite the controversies, Ren Min's on a comeback tour, shedding pounds and stepping up her game in the rise of Ning. Currently slaying it in whole day court now with Gong Jun, rumors are swirling about her potential collaboration with Wang Huddy. But here's the kicker, it might not be smooth sailing. Remember that reality show Wonderland Season 3 where Wang Huddy playfully wanted to switch places with Ren Min's teammate? Well, Ren Min shut it down real quick, saying no, and dropping the bomb that she really doesn't want Wang Huddy. Awkward much? Now with the rumor mill churning about their drama partnership, Wang Huddy's fans aren't exactly thrilled. The anticipation is high, but so are the doubts. Will these two set the screen on fire, or are we in for a wild roller coaster of drama both on and off screen? And now brace yourselves for the latest drama universe with the Chinese drama goddess, Liu Shishi. She's back, and she's slaying in the costume drama A Journey to Love, catapulting her right back to the peak of her career. But guess what? The drama train doesn't stop there. Fresh off the set of Fox Spirit matchmaker Juye, Liu Shishi is proving she's not just a pretty face, she's got the martial arts skills to match, her graceful appearance is sealing the deal, making her the undisputed goddess of costume dramas. And can we talk about her popularity? It's soaring and the acting offers are pouring in. Hold on to your seats because Liu Shishi is set to grace our screens in Kill My Sins, a historical detective suspense series set in the Tang Dynasty. Picture this, a female protagonist, Ye Pingan, getting tangled up in a web of cases. As the truth unfolds, she's on a mission to clear her name and unravel injustices. We're talking suspense, detective vibes, medical drama, political intrigue, the whole package. Now Liu Shishi isn't a stranger to rocking the role of a female doctor. Cast your minds back to 2016, the imperial doctress had her owning the Ming dynasty as a prominent female healer. But hold the phone, the male lead for Kill My Sins is still up in the air. Word on the street is the production team is eyeing the incredible Huga to team up with Liu Shishi once again. If this goes down, it'll be their sixth collaboration, following hits like The Young Warriors and The Legend of the Condor Heroes. Talk about a power duo, but wait, there's more. Brace yourselves because there's a twist in the cast lineup. The possibility of Yu Shu Shin and Deng Wei joining the Kill My Sin squad. Drama fans, are you sitting down? Rumor has it they might snag supporting roles as the second male and second female leads. Could you imagine the lineup of Liu Shishi, Huga, Yu Shu Shen, and Deng Wei lighting up the screen? It's like a dream team coming together. Now, we're not sure if Kill My Sins locked them in before their recent surge in popularity. But even if they make a special guest appearance, it's bound to be a dazzling showstopper. Hold on to your drama seats because we've got spicy updates about the queen herself Yang Mi. Last year, she dropped a bombshell by leaving her own brainchild, Jaywalk Studio, after a solid nine-year reign, and oh boy, the breakup was messier than a drama plot twist. In an exclusive chat with Renwu Magazine, Yang Mi spilled the tea on her emotions post Jaywalk. Now I can take on the roles I want to play and do the things I want to do. Talk about reclaiming your throne, right? Flashback to 2014 Yang Mi along with her dynamic duo managers Zeng Jia and Zhao Ruoyao birthed to Jaywalk Studio, making waves in the industry. Not only did she carve her path as the drama queen, but she also played the fairy godmother to boost Dillery Bastardum. Goals much? 
As the empire grew though, Yang Mi's dreams took a detour from her partners. Scandals and rumors hit hard, but the agency didn't have her back, leaving her feeling betrayed. So what did she do? May 8th, Weibo lit up with Yang Mi's declaration. We shared the past but have our own futures. Cue the independent agent vibes, fast forward, she's now the proud owner of Shanghai Yang Mi Film and Television Culture Studio, with her fam holding over 60% of the shares. Who needs drama scripts when real life is this intense? Yang Mi being the class act she is didn't trash talk Jay Walk. Instead, she kept it real, saying everyone has their own interests. When conflicts hit, she tried the talk, but if that didn't cut it, she wasn't about forcing it. Respect the queen's decisions, right? Now hold on tight because there's a wild rumor in town, a 300 million yuan gambling agreement with Shangxi Entertainment for Jay Walk. Yang Mi's response is sassy, I don't know why it turned out like that, but explanations are useless sometimes, so let's not talk too much. Mic drop. Here's the kicker. With her own studio, Yang Mi is calling the shots. She's on a mission to level up her acting game, investing time and energy into performance coaches. On the set of In the Name of the Brother, she's breaking free from her creative habits, according to director Zhang Li. Brace yourselves for a brand new Yang Mi, folks. The drama roller coaster is in full swing, and we're all aboard for the queen's epic comeback. Who's excited to see Yang Mi slay in In the Name of the Brother? And breaking news in the Chinese entertainment scene, Angela Baby and Zhang Jiani, who found themselves in hot water after attending Blackpink Lisa's Crazy Show last September. In case you missed the memo, Lisa's appearance at the Crazy Horse Show in France shook things up in China, leading to authorities taking some serious action. Her Weibo account vanished into thin air, and major fan accounts were wiped out. Talk about a bold move, Angela Baby and Zhang Jiani caught in the crossfire went silent post-incident, but their attendance at the show did didn't go unnoticed. Fast forward and boom, Chinese authorities drop the censorship hammer on them. Weibo, Douyin, Baidu's social media platform, all banned, officially labeled censored. Angela Baby, once riding high, took an overnight plunge. She lost her flagship variety show Keep Running, and rumors swirled about her selling her luxury home and making a quick getaway. Some even whispered about her seeking help from her ex Huang Xiaoming, but not even he could pull her out of the storm. Now the plot thickens. Four months since the controversy exploded, Angela Baby's Weibo and Douyin accounts are back in action, while Zhang Jiani's Weibo remains restricted. But her Douyin is back on the scene, netizens are buzzing, was it a warning or a full-on ban? The speed difference in account reopening has tongues wagging. Some speculate Angela Baby's quick comeback is thanks to her A-list connections. I mean, former top actress vibes, right? Rumors even hint at her making a comeback on Sisters Who Make Waves. She's about to rise like a phoenix. As for Zhang Jiani, the talented actress who stole hearts and story of Yenshi Palace, her situation seems to be on the mend too. With a successful run on Sisters Who Make Waves 4 last year, fans are hopeful for her return to glory. Popularity might not be at Angela Baby's level, but given the circumstances, it's only a matter of time before she's back in the game. The Chinese entertainment roller coaster is wild and we're here to spill all the deets. Buckle up for more twists, turns, and epic comebacks. Which star's return are you most excited about? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Drop your thoughts in the comment section and see you in the next video. What do you think of these jaw-dropping updates?